So we've just left Ravens Court Park Station on the district line. Um, and we're going to go down the King's Road into Brackenby Village. I'm going to show you the best parts of Hammersmith. So we're on King Street now, just out of Ravens Court Park Road. And obviously this is where you have everything you need in it. Got all the shops. IKEA repurposed the building down there and they've got their store in which you can get lost in, but they've got so much more in there as well. But no, it's a great spot. And now we're just heading into the bottom of Brackenby Village. Good place to be. One thing I like about Hammersmith is it, it's so well connected. You've got District Line, Piccadilly, Hammersmith and City, Circle Line. You've got it all within probably about a five, ten minute walk. So you're so well connected. You've got enough of those red, red things that go around the town, buses. Then we'll go to Hammersmith Grove first. So Hammersmith Grove, it's on the, the far right of Brackenby Village. And we're going from, we'll go from right to left. So I think that'll be a good way, good way to go. But you've just got the Broadway just down there, well connected, everything you need. Fulham that way, Brook Green in front of us. Did you know on Hammersmith Grove in 2021 was the most expensive sale in Brackenby Village to date? 5.7 million pounds. Just over 4,000 square foot. Bit of a monster. One of these ones on the left. Check this out though, the Grove Tavern. This is a good pub. I had a fantastic roast here. Salmon on toast for a starter. Excellent. Brackenby wine rooms. I know you've got a mixture of houses, houses and apartments on this road. You've got some nice Regency homes at the bottom. Maybe we might check them out a bit later on, but no great spot. Brackenby Village just feels quiet as well. It's a popular spot with the residents. They've got a real good community vibe to it as well. So they've got community centres at the bottom of Brackenby Road and Bradmore Park Road, which I'll show you. But another tree-lined tree -lined street here. So this is Agate Road. So this again, mixture of houses and apartments, but I think they're just really nice. All. Last year, there were 706 transactions in Hammersmith. 502 of them were apartments and over 198 were flats so, or houses. So, so this is this is interesting. This is the Mission Works. So this is a a work from home homework place. So if you didn't want to work in home, and you can go in here. They can have a yoga retreat, coffee, they have showers. They've got the whole lot. Ifley Road. People probably know this just for the school at the bottom of the road. So the Godolphin and Latimer School. People move here just for the school. A recent developer has just purchased the empty plot of land at the bottom and put four news houses at the bottom of here. Um, they look really nice. They're all sold. Uh, they sold off plan as well, which is quite interesting. Southerton Road. It's been quite a popular road over the last couple of years. It's been quite a few transactions, but it, it looks lovely again. And I'll show you my, my favourite Brackenby Village Cafe now. The Coffee Warehouse. What's good about the Coffee Warehouse is the brownies as well as the coffee. You've got two community centres at the bottom here, which I, I think is a really nice feel. I remember when we did our charity fundraising here where we collected coats for the homeless. I think we got three or four houses down here we just donated. So really great to see. So this building here used to be a pub back in the day. It's now converted into apartments, but I think that would be a good pub. Great schools as well. Obviously, we spoke about Latimer. You've got John Betts Primary School just on the other side. You're also only five minutes away from the best secondary school in the UK, St Paul's, which is a, an independent school, but could be a good investment. You sell your house in central London, move to Hammersmith for something bigger, more affordable, send your children there, and they could potentially own a Fortune 500 company in a few years. But yeah, this is Wingate. So this has got some really cool houses on it. Um, this road actually was home to one of the most expensive sales in 2022 at 2.77 million which was a slight not as expensive as 2021 um 2400 square foot or just under so no it was a very very interesting one i'll take you to I'll take you past ravenscourt park ravenscourt park massive fields loads of playing grounds you've got a garden center they've just put a new glass house for the community it's a great spot really you're not too far from stanford brook station which is again the district line Keep going down this road, you get to Chiswick. And then you just go right to Askew, Askew Road, and you'll be, you'll be heading to Shepherd's Bush, or you'll be in Shepherd's Bush. So, it's a fantastic location. This is like the border of Brackery Village. You still have some nice grand houses just on the right. 
and then right next to Raymond Scott Park. So this is one of the entrances to Raymond Scott Park, but you could, you were to walk across it, you'd end up in Chiswick, walk right to the bottom, keep going, you'd be, you'd be by the River Thames, which is a, a nice place to be. So these buildings were curved. So when they had horse and carriages, because the horses or the carriages used to swing a little bit more, they used to hit the side of the houses. So they used to be square, but they had to start curving them when accidents started happening. So that's why it was curved there. But no, this is Brackenbury Road. So this is where, when Brackenbury Village was getting built up, all the Brackenbury family used to reside on this road. And this is where they were. And then they sold it on and had every other person come. But in the 19th century, this was. So this Tabor Road had a really, really nice house for sale last year. Sold now, but I'm sure the new owners will be very happy there. But it's a nice street. Obviously, you're near the Mission Works on the other side. Actually, there's not a bad word you can say about Brackenbury Village. Yeah, well, I think we'll, we'll finish off at the pub. Here we are. We'll go to the Andover Arms. I think that seems like a, a fitting place to finish. <laughs>